Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to talk about how we can accelerate innovation with RISC V. We are rapidly moving towards a world where everyone and everything can be intelligently connected. The opportunity for the connected intelligent edge is pretty significant. For Qualcomm, it expands our addressable market by more than seven times to close to $700 billion in the next decade. This means the opportunity for us five is pretty significant as well. To date, we have shipped over 650 million RIS-5 cores in the market. And this number just keeps growing. This means RIS-5 is one of the core technologies for Qualcomm. It also means we are one of the leaders of RISC-V implementation. We have shipped RISC-V cores in PC, mobile, automotive, XR, and wearable segments. The first Qualcomm SOC that adopted RISC-V microcontroller was Snapdragon 865. This was our premium mobile tier platform. It was back in 2019. We needed something that was customizable, met our unique requirements, and had a small footprint. The solutions from the existing legacy architecture didn't meet these requirements. We have since adopted RISC-V microcontrollers across a broad range of Qualcomm SOCs. Now, RISC-V being open source enables a robust collaborative environment. Now, having a common base instruction set architecture that can scale from low-end microcontrollers all the way to high-performance compute and anything in between, it really enables efficiencies in the overall industry. Now, having the ability to differentiate on one hand while at the same time utilizing profiles to get a standardized ecosystem support that's the best of both worlds. We really like that RISC-V enables a robust ecosystem and fosters competition and innovation. We really like that RISC-V fosters competition with a diversity of IP providers. Now, instruction set architecture is a critical aspect of CPU design. This CPU is an integral part of any SOC. We have the high-level OS and the application layer that sits on this hardware platform. Now, this SOC powers today's modern-day devices. And these devices sit in the hands of millions of end consumers. Now, all these are different layers of the value chain. And all these different layers need to be in alignment to add value to end consumers. And that is what is most important, adding value to end consumers. An instruction set architecture 
that can be intelligently specified. Keeping this value chain in mind, that is the real benefit of RISC-V open source instruction set architecture. Instead of the instruction set architecture being owned by one entity in this value chain, the benefit of RISC-V is that it gets contributions from various members representing all these layers of the value chain. Now frequently, we've seen in the past with the legacy architecture, where features were introduced that didn't really seem to add value to end consumers. But with RISC-V, we have an opportunity to add features that add value to end consumers, features that are defined in concert with everyone in this value chain. Now, here are a few examples of the connected intelligent edge. Now, all these different segments have very different requirements. Mobile, PC, automotive, they have high performance requirements. And then we have wearable devices, smartwatches, AR glasses, that are extremely sensitive to power. We have an opportunity with RISC-V architecture to define designs that have the best-in-class power efficiency in the entire industry. Automotive industry requires automotive SOCs to meet functional safety and reliability standards. This is yet another opportunity for RISC-V to get ahead of the curve and enable designs with the highest safety and reliability standards. Now, it's not enough for RISC-V solutions to have alternatives to the legacy architecture. It's important for RISC-V de uh, designs to have the best-in-class performance, best-in-class power efficiency, and value-added features. Now, there is a need for standardization that is useful for all the members in this value chain. Standardization helps reduce ecosystem fragmentation. Standardization helps reduce ecosystem efforts. We cannot stress enough the importance of standardization in order to accelerate the adoption of RISC-V ecosystem. Like I mentioned before, the barrier for adoption for any new ecosystem is lowered with standardization. As a silicon vendor, we see a need for standardized RISC-V compatible system IPs. We see a lot of innovation in the application processor space. We see a lot of diversity, competition, differentiation, and that is great. But we need to make sure that we standardize the system IPs to reduce ecosystem fragmentation. We are aware of the advanced interrupt architecture and IOMMU nearing ratification. That is excellent news. We need to keep that momentum going. We need to make sure that we focus on standardizing other system IP architectures like coherent fabric, system security solutions, which are still in the early stages of development. Software quality matters. We can accelerate RISC-V software ecosystem by adopting existing standards and software features. 
we need to make sure that we don't regress on features that we already market today, features that our customers rely upon. Some examples of these features would be standardized security flows or standardized low power flows. Using existing standards help us piggyback on already proven techniques. We need competitive compiler optimizing RISC V instruction set architecture, an open source kernel community that is picking up the latest and greatest instruction set architecture features. Standardizing software security stack that is compatible with RISC V instruction set architecture is essential. It's not just defining or designing new instruction set architecture, but actively involved with security communities developing state-of-the-art security solutions. We can really accelerate the adoption of RISC-V software by focusing on tools, libraries, and languages. A robust and competitive ecosystem requires best-in-class architecture specification. Getting ahead of the curve is really beneficial. Best-in-class architecture specification in terms of security, machine learning, AI. Now combine best-in-class architecture specification with a faster response time and RISC-V ecosystem would have a tremendous time to market advantage. We believe the opportunity that lies ahead of RISC V ecosystem is pretty significant. We believe we have an opportunity to collaborate and address the growing need of scalable connected intelligent edge solutions. Thank you.